much better. Monday is great. Giants at the Saints in New Orleans. Strange, strange game to pick here. I don't the even incredibly know. incredibly tough schedule continues for your New York Giants. Oh, and it's going to continue to continue. Yeah, it's not, it's not yeah, this is like, this is the midway point. This is like Wednesday, and it started on Sunday, you know, and it just keeps going and up before it gets any better. And the Eagles were supposed to be the soft spot. In the that, Eagles the were the, the soft Eagles spot, were right? And yeah. you know, the New England was supposed to beat the Giants, I thought. You know, but the Giants got that win. Yeah. Then they go over to San Francisco. Right. They lose a tough game. They lose a close one to my Philadelphia Eagles. Now, New Orleans at New Orleans, which is a big deal. I think that's a big deal because New Orleans plays a lot better at home. I'm going to take the Saints in this game. Uh, I think they win this one. They're coming Gi- off a bye, too. Exactly. And the Giants, you know, they go, they're go at Green Bay next, which is really tough. Ugh. Um, <laughs> so... Plus another thing to, to so to are you keep talking mind, about the Giants losing four in a row? Uh, I think I am, and I think a part of it is you've seen the Giants maybe take away the Super Bowl. Oh, not wait, not yes, four in a row. Wait, we had Niners. Yeah, we've seen some bad December's for the New York Giants. Yep, over the years, mm-hmm. this could be another one of those. I remember one year they were something like six and two, and then they you know went two and six, and then in the second half, you know, so. You know, it's just, this is something I feel with the Giants, and the schedule makers didn't do them any favors. Not at all. They didn't do them any favors. For a team who has tough Decembers, I go, any team would have a tough December if they had to go through this gauntlet. So, they have this game. I know they still have the Cowboys twice later on. They got New Orleans, Green Bay. They got Dallas twice. They have Washington, which is a nice little break for them, but still a division game. And they got the Jets. Who we have no idea who the Jets are. Are they the team that Not wins three point. games in a row? Or the team that loses three games in a row? Regardless of opponent. So, a really, really tough, tough one for the for the Giants. And I, I loved them after they beat the Patriots. I think they're uh, one of the odd men out now in the playoff run. Mostly because of their schedule. Mostly because of their schedule. And also because of what, what I've seen from them in past Decembers. Because there's a lot of continuity, uh, continuity on this team from year to year. It's a lot of the same guys that we've seen last year and the year before on this team. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a tough one to pick. I'm going to pick the Giants. Oh, really? <laughs> this is a must win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this is a must win for the Giants. Nobody expects them to beat the Packers next week. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't think it's a must win because... I think I think, I think if you lose beat, four games in a row. If you beat Dallas both times, if you beat Dallas both times, I'm expecting a split there. Yeah, but if you beat it, so this doesn't become a must win. I think those two games against Dallas are the must wins. Division wise, I but but also but 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 just for the mindset of the team, you lose four games in a row, and you know the teams are tough, but that doesn't help in the locker room. The Saints, to me, are an underachieving, underperforming team this year. That are seven and three. That are seven with and a loss three. to the Rams. With a loss, right? Unbelievable. Right. Um, they are coming off the bye. I don't have a whole lot of great reasons for this. Um, I do think the Giants' defense, though, is far stronger and more talented than the Saints' defense is. And Drew Brees throwing interceptions this mm. year. Uh huh. He absolutely is throwing. He's turning the ball over. And Jimmy Graham is being played a little bit tighter. So we'll see how it pans out. It's a tough one to pick. I'm going to take the Giants, but uh, it'll be interesting to watch that game. It's going to be a good one. It's Finally, be... we get a good Monday Night Football game. Absolutely. And a big a big game for the Saints as well. They're 7-3. and three. They're fighting with Atlanta for the top of that division. Schedule makers didn't do them too many favors either. As they have the Giants. They have Detroit. They have another game against Atlanta. They got Tennessee, who's going to be fighting and clawing for their lives. Uh, along with Minnesota and Carolina, which might be their two uh, games where they could perform against. But Carolina, I mean, they could compete with the Saints. They so, can. you know, they, they, got, um, they got a couple toughies as well. So both of these teams really need this win because the schedule's not doing them any favors. That's quite a division there. It's, it's really up in the air, that Falcons-Saints division.